This video summarizes an automated segmentation method for identifying the boundary of cells. My name is Donna, and I will be spending the next five minutes showing you when and why to use this technique. To address questions including how does our body form structures such as our skin, blood vessels, or lungs, many researchers are running on the assumption that the things we can see, we can understand. Using various image acquisition technology, they are recording the building blocks of life in action, cells. Then researchers analyze the thousands of images showing how populations of various cell types behave under a variety of environmental conditions, hoping to discover models explaining how body structures form. To quantitatively analyze this data, computer vision systems are used. Reliable automated analysis often depends on accurately finding the contours of each cell in every image. This is challenging to achieve in our data set because fibroblast cells can undergo significant appearance variation in short periods of time, cells frequently touch other cells, and often there's little to no edge information identifying the boundary between a cell and the background or a cell and other cells. The focus of our work is on maintaining shape recognition as cells interact with other cells. We developed a fully automated system that addresses the challenges of our data set and obtains accurate cell segmentations. The first module finds and characterizes the contour of all cell candidates in the current image. Then, a data association module identifies all cases where a group of cells from the previous image appear as a cluster in the current image. Next, the boundary matching module divides the merged boundary into a connection of segments from the individual cells included in the cluster. Finally, the gap filling module computes the appropriate curves to connect the fragments so that the boundary of each cell within a cell cluster is completely recovered. The system then starts over, moving to the next frame. In the next two slides, I will describe the novel algorithm in our system used for the boundary matching module. This module solves the many-to-one elastic partial curve matching problem. To compute the similarity between a fragment of a candidate curve and a target curve, we use dynamic time warping. This algorithm finds the optimal mapping of pixels on the merge boundary to pixels on the candidate cell boundary and is commonly visualized as searching for a shortest path on a DTW table. To compute a DTW table, first the fragments to compare must be chosen by selecting a starting and ending point on both the candidate and target curve boundaries. So the table constructed when both subsequences start at the first point on the boundaries will be different from the table constructed when both subsequences start at the second point on both boundaries. Using dynamic time warping, the distance between all possible pairings of fragments from both curves are computed. A naive implementation requires the creation of a quadratic number of tables to evaluate all possible starting point pairs. A key observation we utilize to reduce computation is that shortest paths already computed for one table can be reused for another table. We provide the intuition using toy examples shown in this slide. In the first table, where both subsequences start at the first point on the curves, the region in light blue represents all shortest paths that result when the first step taken is a diagonal move. These paths, along with all their cache results, can be directly used for the table when both subsequences start at the second points along the curves. Using this idea, we show theoretically that we can reduce the DTW computation by one-third in the worst case, and better than that in practice. Once the distance between all possible fragment pairs are computed, we apply a dynamic programming algorithm to find the optimal connecting of fragments. We highlight the segmentation results from our fully automated system in the video. Cropped images of merge events are shown with the raw data on the left and the segmentation results on the right. We also demonstrated the benefit of our method quantitatively in the paper. Our data source included 41 subsequences containing cell collisions that lasted from 25 frames in duration to over 700 frames in duration. In comparing the segmentation results against annotations, we found our system maintained accurate recognition of cell boundaries across over 8,000 images. Our current MATLAB implementation can process each merge event in two to three seconds. We will be releasing the data set and code soon. Thank you for watching this video about automatically segmenting cell images.